Hey guys, Matt here, and welcome to Bronze Beasts. This is the series on FIFA 13 Ultimate Team, where I take my bronze team, play against some silver teams, some amazing goal teams, and some insane informed teams along the way. Be sure to like, comment, and favour the video if you enjoyed it, guys, and let's get into the video. So welcome to part 6 of Bronze Beasts, guys, on the previous episode. Remind you the big 1,000 likes on the video, which is awesome. Today's episode is a really helpful video to earn you more coins in FIFA 13, but firstly, let's see who won the informed giveaway. So let's get straight into the Inform giveaway in Bronze Beast, guys, and here are your winners of the Inform Akin Fenwa and Inform Hernandez from Man United. We do an Inform giveaway every five episodes of Bronze Beast, so stay tuned for the next one on part 10. We use the website random.org to come up with four different numbers between 1 and 5060, as that's how many comments there were on the video, which by the way, is just insane. So congratulations to the guys who won these two amazing Inform players, and let's get into today's episode of Bronze Beasts. We'll be covering trading in today's video, guys. This is going to be really helpful for those of you who need help with trading an ultimate team or want tips and tricks to earn more coins on FIFA 13. So how do you get better at trading? That is the question. Well firstly, you have to use these two brilliant websites of FIFA 13, foothead.com and ultimatedb.nl. Doing your research into the ultimate team market is absolutely the most important aspect of trading on FIFA guys. So many people discard shiny bronze or even silver players on FIFA 13 as they think they have no value. However, that is not the case. I mean, for me on FIFA 11, FIFA 12, I used to sometimes discard bronze, shiny, shiny bronze players because I didn't know how much they went for, and that was just me being naive. But now I know how much they go for by doing my research. You will get a shit ton of coins by simply doing your research using these two amazing websites. So Foothead.com is the place to go for creating squads. Say you want to build a cheap squad or a budget hybrid team on ultimate team then this is where you can do it and it's so easy to do guys it's also a brilliant way to create new squad builders this is where pretty much i come up with all of my new squad I squad builder ideas on my channel um, and it's so useful for what i do and it's also a brilliant way to to prioritize what you search for so for example on foothead.com you can actually search for bronze players silver players informed players whatever kind of player you can filter whatever you want if they're from a certain nation if they're from a certain position if sorry if they play it in a certain position it's brilliant site to use for ultimate team and help you it helps you a ton along the way next up is ultimate db.nl this is the site that will make you so many coins on fifa 13 guys it's insane all thanks to ludicrously accurate play prices a brilliant market analysis tool and even shows the biggest player transactions from around the world today whenever you buy a player or want to know how much a certain player sells for then you use this website guys it will save you so many coins on ultimate team and help you make a lot as you begin to trade so here's a guide for which bronze players to trade with. The three most important aspects of a player you should focus on when trading are formation, position and the nationality guys. First up we have Danny Ings who plays for Burnley in the Empower Championship in England. His average price is 3500 coins. I've managed to pick him up for a steal of 1900 coins which is a bargain for how good he actually is. He's brilliant on P13. From the Barclays Premier League, you can buy Jack Robinson for just 450 coins compared to his average price, which is just about 1500 coins on Ultimate Team. English players overall always sell for a higher price as well. Bear that in mind. Now onto the MLS League. This is a brilliant league for trading with bronze players. The prime example being Ike Opara, who has an average price of 17,000 coins, which is, which is expensive, but he is so worth it. However, if you time it right, especially when a lot of the Americans are online at midnight or, or over midnight, you can pick him up for about 10,000 coins to 12,000 coins if lucky. Finally, we have Kim Kwang Suk, which, which is a brilliant name, by the way, who plays for plays a Poang Steelers in the Sonata K League, and he is a bargain buy from South Korea, guys. 93 pace for right back, pace being arguably the most important stat to look out for on FIFA 13 Ultimate Team. So as you may know guys, trading is not just about bronze players, it's about any gold player, any silver player on Ultimate Team. As you can see on my screen right now, this is my trade power right now, mostly trading off gold players, and probably on average, I'm probably making about 25k per day just on Ultimate Team doing quick gold trading, it's really useful. is a very good player to trade, just to give a quick tip to you guys. But as I said before, you know, trading is really great if you want to do, if you want to focus on, say, gold players, you want to focus on silver players, you want to focus on bronze players, you can if you want to, there's so much room for maneuver you know there's so many different ways you can go with trading and this is what i'm saying these this is also very important guys this is a guy called songo he's got four star skills four star weak for potential profit right there 700 coins bought him for he could sell for more so it really is useful knowing your market and knowing which level of plays you want to focus on so welcome to today's gameplay guys of bronze beast part six and oh my god i love this setup with this team the the two frenchmen in this team are just 
quality guys. Benzia and Gazelle, both from Olympic Leon. Fantastic players and fantastic players in career mode. My good man NGH, or you might guys know him as PlayStation 3, PlayStation 3 Gaming HD. He does a brilliant career mode series with Arsenal, and he always goes on about Benzia when I'm on Skype to him and stuff and on Twitter to him. He's a top guy, by the way, MGH. And, uh, but yeah, this guy had a very interesting team, guys, as follows. He had Aruna Kone, who's an absolute gem of a player on Ultimate Team on FIFA 13. You guys might know that. Hassan Ben Arfa, Asadi from Liverpool, which I went to Liverpool match against Wigan. And actually tweeted a picture of myself from the game. You can actually see that on my Twitter page, at my HTG Gamer. Then there's got one matter as well there. And this guy got off to a good start. Valencia with a 1-0 goal. He got the goal there, Valencia, who for me is one of United's best players. I think Antonio Valencia is absolutely stunning. He's been brilliant for the past few years. But look at that outside the foot pass a brilliant pass from Westcar twat in the bottom left corner as you, as per usual Westcar I feel sorry for Craig Westcar guys I mean he got relegated last season with Cheltenham Town so it's a bit of a it's a bit it's a bit weird that he is actually better on FIFA 13 than on FIFA 12 if he had four star skills he could be the best striker on the game but who do you guys think is the best bronze striker on FIFA 13 let me know in the comments below I really do think Westcar could be the best I'm not sure what you guys think I really want to get feedback on that but, but this guy Benzia is also challenging to be the best bronze striker I'm not sure who you think is the best bronze striker though. However, this guy gets another goal to make it 2-1. Hassan Ben Arthur, who by the way was one of those players on Pro 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 sorry Pro Evolution Soccer 2005 on Master League. If you guys remember that Master League on Pez, he's one of those players that became. You bought him at 17 years. It was 18. You bought him when he was 17 years old, and basically he became one of the best players in the game later on Master League. I used to love Pez back in the day, but FIFA is so dominant these days. However, we get another goal here with Gazelle, a brilliantly worked goal on the left hand side of the pitch, and he just runs when he celebrates. He just runs like mad but i really do love doing trading videos guys i really do love doing them if you want more let me know on the comments below it'll be awesome if you want more because i love doing them as well craig westcott though a lovely turn skins a defender and watch this for finish boom bottom right corner past the keeper craig westcott you animal of a player what a player you are he is for me the best ever bronze player in the history of fifa i think he could be up there with the best ever on bronze players i mean in terms of legendary status akin fenwell will always be probably the number one uh, most like most well-known bronze player but maybe Lee Trundle could maybe fill, fill those boots soon being five-star skiller the only five-star skiller on their bronze for the bronze player Nelson team however Westcott gets another goal here a brilliantly well-worked goal look at that angle guys I mean wow I've never seen a goal like that so far on FIFA 13 but yeah this week's been crazy guys been really busy this week but I've been busy editing a lot as well been editing a lot of bronze beasts and silver stars and other cool videos I'm doing including vlogs and this is the end of the gameplay This on this episode, guys, of Bronze Beast Part 6. This guy decided to quit, which is a bit, really annoying, you know. Be a man. Be a man about it, dude. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video, guys, of Bronze Beast. If you hit the big 1,000 likes on the video, I'll be uploading a new video tomorrow. And yeah, I hope you enjoyed it. And uh, yeah, I'll show you Bang of the Week by Barry Scott. Barry Scott's Bang of the Week. He wore black and I wore white. He would always win the fight, bang, bang, he shot me down, bang, bang, I hit the ground, bang, bang, that awful sound, bang, bang, my baby shot me down, 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 down. Who should I buy next? Powell or Suk? Comment below. Human beings in a mind.